What's up, Nail Geeks, and welcome back to another Little Box of Horrors collab box video. I have quite a few of this month's offerings uh, to show you guys. If you are new to the channel or you're new to this specific collab in general, Little Box of Horrors is a pretty big collab featuring at least a dozen, definitely more. Um, I just can't think of the number off the top of my head. Um, box that is all about horror. It started off as Halloween sort of situation and then it just branched out from there. It's a celebration of all things scary and horror and all of that genre. So lots of pop culture to be seen here. Uh, each maker can have more than one offering as you'll see in the video too. And this time we've got the theme zombies. Interesting uh, finishes that I, I worked on for this set and I saw some of the other swatches from uh, other makers not on this video. So there's there's a lot. It's a really cool month. It's really exciting because uh, personally, I feel like a lot of the polishes I've seen consistently each release, they're, they're really, really good. So without further ado, let's dive right in. And first up, we've got Chameleon. This is Alicia, described as a pink to colorless thermal with green iridescent flakes, black flakes, and a sprinkle of silver reflective glitters and pink hollow glitters. This one is inspired by The Walking Dead. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 50 bottles. I have to say Chameleon does thermals so well. In fact, really any special effect. Um, I'm, I've been thoroughly impressed with her formulas and the thermals for this month are no exception. They are very reactive. This has a very smooth jelly formula. I think three coats is perfect. Finish with a plumping glossy top coat to make it have that wonderful jelly looking effect and you're good to go. This is so flattering on that pinky sort of color. It's got just enough of a fuchsia cool tone to it that I think it will pop so well if you have warm undertones like myself. And next up, we've got Maggie. This is a sage green to color this thermal with iridescent flakes shifting pink to orange and purple UCC flakes. This one's also part of the Walking Dead series for her. It's 1350 and has a cap of 80 bottles. So if you are Wanting to collect essentially a Walking Dead series, spoiler alert, you'll definitely want to pay attention to Little Blocks of Horrors each month for uh, Chameleon Nails. And I think they go so well together as thermals and special effects. Maggie has a very similar formula to Alicia. It's got that squishy type of ultra juicy looking gel-like jelly appearance. I think two to three coats is perfect. Just keep in mind that the warm states are somewhat colorless, but they do take on more of a tinted cream almost effect on the nail. And next is Zombie Eyes. This is a white curly with blue to green shifting iridescent flakes, black flakes, and it also glows in the dark. This is 1350 with a cap of 50 bottles. I always love nice milky white polishes and they're just so clean and almost like a palette cleanser to my eyes. So this was very pleasant to work with. It's very smooth, very jelly-like, and has that true milky sort of finish. It builds very well to opacity, though I think if you have a very prominent white free edge of some sort, you'll see just a smidge of it in very bright lights. This is very reactive and glow in the dark, as you'll see here in just a moment. It's really, really bright. It's awesome. This is going to scare the crap out of you in the, in the dark whenever you go to bed at night. Finish with a good glossy top coat here, and you'll be good to go. And Jen and Berries brings us President Evil. This is described as a lavender, almost periwinkle base with a generous mix of shifty flakes. This one's 1350 with a cap of 125. So this also has a very jelly formula too. It built very easily to opacity. And I'm gonna suggest going in for three light to normal coats. There's no need to overwork this. It was just very smooth and pleasant on the nail. The flakes here are gonna give you this smaller type of mosaic effect. It's really glowy in the background against that base color. It has a strong pink factor, though you'll see little specks of orange and blues there too. This does dry down flat, so I would suggest a good glossy top coat. And here is Luna Lacquer, give me some sugar baby, described as a deep red base with green shimmer and shifty magnetic pigment. This one is 12 with a cap of 100 bottles. We've got a very unique sort of multi-chrome finish here. I really liked how it's super dark. If you wear it unmagnetized, it builds up very vampy and you can you can see right here on this, on this third coat, it's got a lot of a green sort of glow with a bit of a gold cast to it. It's really interesting. It's 
very, very pretty. I'm going to suggest going in for three coats because you always want to have lots and lots of magnetic pigment when you are working. I'm going to suggest going up to three coats and that way you'll have lots and lots of pigment to work with on your nails to magnetize. I love how it has this gorgeous, deep, intense, almost burgundy type glow. You can see it there on my macro shot. In my opinion, if you like the Bow Rev from last month's PPU, to me, to my eyes, this is a really deep, dark, distant cousin to it. It's truly beautiful. And here we've got Night Owl Lacquer. This is You've Got Red on You, described as a blackened burgundy jelly base sparkling with black holographic micro glitter flake. This one is 12 with no cap. I love when Night Owl makes micro glitter finishes. They're always so pleasant. My uh, very first custom was a night owl glitter and I loved it to pieces. I still do. This has a very rich jelly type formula. So I purposely went in incredibly thin on each of my coats to slowly build it and get the max glitter payoff on my nails. It's very, very pigmented. This is a rich, very jello like color. I would strongly suggest using a glitter smoothing top coat in addition to a glossy top coat and it's so sparkly good. My full hand shot there gives you a good idea of how deep and vampy it is in person, but certainly not how sparkly and rich it is. So my swatches themselves are just a touch lighter than what I'm seeing in person. So you can really see all the little glitters. And last but not least, we've got Zombie Claw. This is Operation Deadbolt, described as a purple base with pink shimmer effect and hollow. This one's 1350 with a cap of 100 bottles. So we have a very smooth type of formula going on here. It was so incredibly buttery smooth on those brush strokes. I think two normal coats is perfect. Dry time was impeccable. So honestly, I think you could even overwork it and go ham if uh, that's your thing too. I would also suggest a good plumping glossy top coat as this does dry down semi flat. But I really wanted to make that holographic pigment sing, so I wanted to really gloss it up. And finally, we have the Willet Topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate potential topperisms for polish and versatility. Okay, so the Chameleon Trio this month has basically jelly formulas, and we know those are going to topper well. So I chose to show you all what they look like over a white cream, because if we do black, we're not really going to see their colored forms. Alicia worked really good. I think you can use a lot of undies for that. Almost like it's a thermal topper, if you will. Same thing with Maggie. It worked fantastic. I warmed it up there so you could see what it looks like when it's warm. And lots of colors are going to pop super good. You can even use like a little bit of color theory for the colored part of the thermals, what they're going to look like layered. Zombie Eyes is a white curly. If you wanted to have more of an opaque look and less of that milk bath finish, then it would definitely work with white, but I wouldn't suggest layering it over any other colors. Gin and Berries almost looks like a full on topper by itself. I would caution that the base itself is gonna be incredibly pigmented. So I would stick with super dark colors or matchy match with the base color. Luna works, but I would suggest maybe just sticking to dark colors with it. I can see it looking fantastic with a super dark gray, a cool toned gray and possibly just black. So other, other than that, I think this flatter is the best on its own. Night Owl, the glitter looks amazing over black. This looks so vampy and squishy that I think personally it would look the best, again, with matchy match colors, reds, burgundies, and of course, black. And the Zombie Claw was a pleasant surprise for me. It's got a strong metallic look because the shimmer just kind of dispersed a little bit. So I think this would absolutely work as a topper. So these and many, many more are going to be available on a pre-order style basis starting January 18th at 1 p.m. through January 31st at, a, at 12.59 MST. I'm going to have all of this information broken down in the description box below, including the website, how to shop, all that good stuff, and the Facebook fan group if you want to get in there, um, see additional posts from other swatchers for other polishes and all that good stuff. So it's going to be in there. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.